What's going on, everybody? C4 here. Welcome back. Episode 33 of the Las Vegas Raiders franchise mode. Doubleheader. You know what we do here. Week one at home against divisional rival Kansas City Chiefs. We got week two on the road. St you know, going back to the West Coast where we, I mean, we still are kind of, but we're going to go back to the Bay Area and uh, low key a rivalry game that none of people talk about. Niner fans and Raider fans absolutely hate one another. Probably going to be a couple uh, ejections, hopefully, no stabbings in the crowd and we get away clean our fans get away clean and we get a big victory but before we go there we got the chiefs are coming to the desert and our team we're feeling good 87s across the board we're ready to make up for the epic just garbage collapse in the afc championship game changes to our offense i mean we got connor williams Signed away from the Dallas Cowboys. He was a guard. We're actually going to try him at tackle. What we saw during the preseason was he was not very good. Uh, we had our, our, our showcase against the Baltimore Ravens. He got about three sacks in uh, three quarters of play. A sack a quarter. Not good. Not good. I mean, we're trying to upgrade where Trent Brown had 20-some sacks. How many, how many sacks allowed did he have last year? I think it will show us here in his stats. 24. And we got rid of Colton Miller, who we just let walk to free agency. He gave up, I think, 26. The most in the league. So we need improvement here from Connor Williams. I want to see... We're going to set the bar incredibly low. I want to see less than... you know, get 19 would be a success. I don't want you getting in the 20s. I don't want to see a, a two-digit number starting with a two. You know what I'm saying? So the, the bar is being set very, very low. I just want to see a little bit more production there. Uh, I think Rodney Hudson has regressed just a little bit. I think he was a 94 when we ended the season last year. Now he's down to a 92. I mean, he's a veteran. He's a leader of this offense, but he is getting up there in age. He's 33, but still our best offensive lineman. Um, I mean, the draft special, we, we, we brought in someone like Cole Stider, our second round pick. Got a hidden dev trait. Very optimistic about him. But we have our first first round bust. I mean, you never really want to call a guy bust this early in his career, but in terms of value, without a shadow of doubt, the worst value pick I've ever had on my channel in the first round getting Cardell Thomas from LSU. What's with Raiders? And drafting LSU guys that are overhyped. Uh, he had 46 reps on the bench press. We pulled it Al Davis, just falling in love with with one physical attribute. You know, Al Davis, either you are strong. We saw that with uh, Bruce Campbell, I think was his name. Uh, really freaky athletic tackle that never really quite got on. Or speed. Like, you know, countless wide receivers, you would draft like the fastest guy. Like Darius, Darius Hayward Bay and stuff like that. And, and if we fell into it. It was like the ghost of Al Davis took over our draft room. And we selected Cardell Thomas. Um... I mean, John Ross is back healthy. He's a superstar X Factor. We even want to see CeeDee Lamb take the next big step. Hunter Renfro got some uh, facial reconstruction surgery, and we got uh, an actual face scan in for him, which is dope. Uh, the bad news is that they uh, did a big update uh, to Leighton Evanderesh, our big free agency signing, who comes in with that enforcer. Uh, but they added his neck roll, but he's not. Uh, the neck roll and all that stuff's only applied to the roster updates, so we're not actually going to get it. Which is annoying because I always thought that that you know that old school, not even, not even old school, the old school neck roll in this game, while it fits the Raiders style, and we used that a couple episodes ago for our throwback unis. The, the plastic neck roll is awesome, and uh, it's kind of I'm kind of bummed out we're not getting that for Van Der Esch, But I'm not one thing I'm not bummed out about is we have Leighton Van Der Esch on our team right now, 96 overall, unreal man. Another superstar X factor on the defensive line to go with Maurice Hurst, who got his X factor in the offseason, fearmonger. He's, I, I think, the best D-tackle, most underrated D-tackle in the National Football League. But a lot of silver, a lot of star devs. We gave Gary on Conley, as voted on by you guys in the comments, a star dev after his second seven interception season. And still he was sitting on a normal. You guys thought I should reward him, which we did. And even though he looks like the guy from Ballers, uh, you know, like the Vernon's, I don't know what you would call him. He's, he's a little he's a bitch. Uh, he's still good. He's really, really good. I look for a strong season for him this season. So that's enough of that. Let's get into the regular season here. We open up, I think that's prime time, against the Kansas City Chiefs. Let's find out what the Chiefs are working with. Let's get in and start the season 1-0. and A little preview here of the Kansas City Chiefs arrival throughout. We're in year four of the Raiders franchise. And you know, I'm going to have to say that they are just not building a lot of talent around Mahomes. Those are still the three familiar faces. They haven't drafted anyone. They haven't signed any free agents to help them out here, even from a superstar standpoint. And I mean, you have three of probably, if you're ranking the overpowered players in this game, they might, they probably have three of the top 15. But look at what we've built in four years. We are starting to dominate them with individual talent. 
Van Der Esch, Mo Hurst, Trevor Lawrence, John Ross. And outside of Van Der Esch, we built all three of these or drafted all three of these. We got Hudson, Furl, Abram, and Lamb. We are a self-made team that is just right on that verge of complete and utter domination. And we are going to have to start that with an imposing victory. Usher out the era of Patrick Mahomes being the playboy, the big-time baller, and say that this is going to be Trevor Lawrence's makeup game from... I mean, he needs this. Two bazooka quarterbacks going at it, but we need Trevor Lawrence to have a big time showing, outdueling Patrick Mahomes to make up for that playoff loss. Let's get into it. Single receiver. Hey, 17 George. Watch left, watch left. Oh, Cleveland Furl, third and five starts this season the best way you can, and that is putting Patrick Mahomes on his back. Phrasing. Holy shit, that guy was jacked and he gets a gong because it's Headley. That ridiculous punter from the Miami Hurricanes. Give him a gong. Get out of here, baby. Got, for whatever reason, Abram playing D end. Got to fine tune our depth chart. Something must have reset, but look at that. He might be. We might be playing this game. We might have to make a roster change of having a 220 pound D end. My God! Put this guy in drug testing protocol. All right, third and four on the 26. We got John Ross run a slant. Renfro. Renfro might be the guy. We get to here. Oh, we'll like throw it to Moreau at the lock. Are we? Can we get it? Can we get it? Fourth and inches. This is a big time game. You know we're gonna go for it. We're gonna go for it. They have had no answer to Josh Jacobs. And if we could pick up. 31, which we didn't. All right, we need a big time stop. Third and seven. Come on, get some pressure. Mo Hurst, come on. Hey, got pressure. We didn't get the sack. We got the pressure. Hold move field goal attempt. Really boring first half. Oh, Gusecki. That was unreal. Oh, you complete that? That's on. Oh my Drop. God, he dropped it. You have got to bring that down, CD Lamb. What did AB, did he teach you nothing as your mentor? You know what to do. Oh, safety! Safety! Suck it! Thank you. Thank you for making amends. Thank you for being wide open and not dropping the pass this time. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. That is a complete momentum shift. Punt it on their one. You hit the gong. You get a safety. Next play, 72-yard touchdown. Big Mo has switched to the dark side. What the fuck? That's a hat trick. That's how we do it. Beauty. We play to win. Third and six in the red zone on the nine. Kind of like CD Lamb, to be honest with you here. As the as the the best route. Oh no, he got covered up. Nothing there. And we eat a sack. Oh. All right, we got we got a game here to close it out. Kelsey, nice touch. I mean, just bad defense. We went all out blitz. They called it. Oh, Gary Ott Conley playing a little nickel, little slot corner right now. Gets the sack. Let's keep the blitz up. Let's overload him. Oh, bad throw from Mahomes. Fourth down. Game is on the line. Fourth and a mile. I mean, we've been aggressive all day. We've been aggressive all day. Mo Hurst has been feeding. This is going to work. Get out of here. Get out of here. 
That's the most dominant 12-point performance I've ever seen. There we go. We walk away. The week one victory. Very close. Shout out to the defense. Shout out to the kick. The, the kicking game. The punting game was unreal. Even though we went up maybe against the greatest CPU punting performance I've ever seen. I think he had three punts that were like on the one, for God's sakes. We did well. And uh, like I said, man, even though it was a 12-10 low scoring game, not a lot of big time highlights. Uh, look at that, man. Under 200 yards. I think Mahomes actually went over 200 yards for whatever reason. They count like negative sack yards and stuff like that. Uh, but we played well. We played very well. Looking at the Raiders, really good QBR, accurate for Trevor Lawrence, almost 300 yards on the day, and a touchdown, 70% completion percentage. Run the ball 80 yards from Josh Jacobs. It was fine. Had the fumble that didn't really count, so that's good. Receiving eight catches, 67 yards for Renfro. We had 114 in that long touchdown from CeeDee Lamb. Should have had more. Still can't believe he dropped that bomb. That should have been, you know, he should have been close to 200 yards and two touchdowns on the day. Didn't really get John Ross involved. Full kudos to that Chiefs defense. They shot him down pretty well. Um, you know, wanna, you definitely want to get him a little bit more involved, though. One sack. I mean, it is the new guy, but only one sack given up. I mean, it is the Chiefs defense. They are not very good. But that's an improvement, considering we probably averaged, what, four or five sacks given up a game last season. Defensively, Garyon Conley, great performance. Eight tackles, a TFL, and a sack. But Mo Hurst, give him the game ball. Three sacks on the day. Uh, Furl also got a sack. We had no picks to speak of, but I, I think most impressive performance is either Hurst or you need to look at the punter, Johnny Towns, at seven punts, four of those in the 20, just given the, the Chiefs' horrendous field position. But look at this guy. Six punts, three were in the 20. You got a 72-yarder that went on the one-yard line. So, you know, you're a fan of punting. You're a fan of this game. But it's a win for the Raiders. Let's get into the second game of the doubleheader against the 49ers. Week two against the Niners, and we get a tremendous present as we open up our things to do. Breakout player Hunter Redfro is ready to go up in dev trade. He's been sitting on normal for quite some time, even though when healthy... Health has, been, health has been an issue for him. I think he's one of the better slot wide receivers, so we're going to have to try and target him. Two touchdowns or 100 total yards. I think the 100 yards is a lot more realistic, but we're going to try to force feed him out the slot and bump him up into a star dev here against the 1-0 San Francisco 49ers. So looking at what we're dealing with here against the 49ers, they got a lot more X-Factors in the Kansas City Chiefs. You got George Kittle with Rack Em Up, Grant Delpit, the uber-talented safety from LSU. You got Zone Hawk, Quad Alexander's up to an X-Factor. D Ford's here. They got Nick Bosa. Tua Tagovailoa. Now, I think Tua is the backup. I don't necessarily think he's the starter. Um, but it's a lot of talent. It's a lot of talent. Oh! Get home. Van Der Esch. Let's go. Jumping jacks. All day. All day. Ah! Good ball. Good ball, man. Jimmy G's playing well, especially if he's, you know, keeping Tua from being the starter there in San Francisco. Let's go, defense. Let's get off the field, defense. Come on, man. We are playing very bad. Kill, kill, kill. Kill, kill. Oh, Josh Jacobs. Oh, he's just not fast. He's just not fast, but that was huge. My. I, I'm really, really thinking about just cutting Trent Brown. He is so bad. For the 12, we're going to go for it, man. We need to get something going. I figure there's no way to get points with that little time. There's just nothing here, man. I've gone against a defense this good in a long time. Fuck, man! Trying to get Renfro this fucking star factor or whatever has been not fun. Like, literally, the best way to describe this right now, this nice defense, is like you're playing a user team. That just user, like tries to use your cheese the linebacker the whole time. These linebackers are not giving up anything intermediate. Look at that. 54 dropping 15 yards back into coverage. Fred Warner, Quan Alexander, they've been outstanding. Only four and a half sacks given up today by Trent Brown, if you've been counting at home. There you go. It's it's like the game knew that we would be trying to go to Renfro and like their whole strategy has been trying to stop it i'm not i'm not mad at it because you know at this point literally trying to get your player to go up in, in a dev trade is almost as important as winning but 
I don't know, man. We only need 15 more yards. I don't care if I gotta throw a couple more picks. We're getting we're getting that dev trade for Renfro because this Niners team is scary good. Best I will say right now, best defense we've gone up against in so far here in the Raiders franchise, without a doubt. Oh, I hate my tackle so much. Oh, this is gonna be a good stat to look at. We've been sacked only eight times, everybody. And we still got a quarter and a bit to play. It's only eight though. There we go. We only needed four more yards with Renfro. There's the hundred. There's the dev trade increase. And we're only down 24. There we coming back. Probably too little too late, but we're gonna try and make a run. CD Lamb gets the touchdown. And we pull back just a little bit. Watch the screen, watch the screen. Watch the screen. Scary's uh, oh sorry, is that Patrick Willis and Novaro Bowman? Like, I, like I'm, I'm getting even garbage animations, man. There's nothing I can do. I'm playing bad, and I'm getting worse animations. Like, what was that? Ten sacks? Ten sacks. Oh, my. I'm telling you right now, he has 94 speed. He was jogging there. That has got to be a home run. There's no scripting in Madden. There's no scripting. It's not like the pass just automatically went to him and then that happened on the return. Bullshit. I call bullshit. Well, you know, that happens sometimes. What do we have? Five picks? It's 10 <laughs> I just went up against the greatest defense of all time. So no, there, there's, I went up against the greatest defense in the history of the world. Five picks for Trevor Lawrence. I mean, we got 100 yards for Renfro. We're going to dev trade. That's all that matters, right? God damn it, man. I'm cut. I'm, I, think we, I think we have to cut him. He is so fucking bad. He is the worst tackle in professional football in this sim. And he's like an 86 overall, and he's getting confidence boost. Classic millennials, you know? Everyone needs a handout. Everyone gets a participation award. So that when you're awful at your job, you need positive reinforcement. Because of today, all these soft-ass people with mental illness issues, you have to, you know, cupcake everything. Sugarcoat everything. Trent Brown sucks. Van Der Esch, 13 tackles, a TFL, and a sack. Let's see. Let's see on the Raiders here. What do we got? Five sacks, D Ford, three and a half, Nick Bosa, a sack and a half, Buckner. Quan Alexander played like literally the second coming of Derek Brooks. Fuck! Literally the only thing that matters about the episode. I mean, we got the dev trait. Oh, no. We're so bad. Well, it's the way she goes. The way she goes. Sometimes you get 33 episodes in. And um, every game's fairly good. And then other times, a Madden update comes halfway through the episode. Yes, there was an update between the first game and the second game. Not going to say anything. And you get cheesed and you play bad and you go up against the greatest defense in the history of all time. So, I mean, I don't know, people. I honestly think I'm going to give him one more episode in Trent Brown. If not, I'm cutting his ass. 84 overall. Yet he's given up 40 sacks in the last three years. And not only that, to top it all off, look how much he's getting paid. To top it all off, he's our second highest paid. We get $15 million in savings. He is, oh, he is god awful. I mean, who would we, who would play instead of, could just, no. We have like a solid depth anywhere. Like we could go with the Snyder. We can get Snyder some reps. John running like his dad. We could slide him out the right tackle. But Trent Brown. Oh, you are so bad. So let me know what we should do about Trent Brown in the comment section below. Catch you guys back on another one. Subscribe, smash that like button. 2,000 likes will make you all beautiful, beautiful people in my eyes. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out. Money I'm spending, I'm out and I'm shopping You talking that shit when you talking and talking Look at my options, look at me dropping Ass in the game, like who are you stopping? Not me, not me, not never Not me, not me, not never Not me, not me, not never I'm way too clever